Hey guys, how are you? I welcome all of you, all of you, and my channel Computer Code. So, this is our fashion series uh, third lecture. So today I gonna tell you how to we we input from user to input some value and apply some operation. So let's get start. As usual, we create a new text document file. Okay, uh, just a second. I just have to open it. Desktop. Okay. So here is test document file and the name of is first uh, the name input python input python and I set here save as desktop and the name I just wrote it same again okay input python input python dot py the extension was was uh, the extension was python py okay so here i navigate here and the input python dot py okay the return is here and first time i just print the command i am from notepad Okay, so I just control S and type here CMD. Okay, so it will here desktop. For this, I used input INP and tap and click the button tap. When I click, it will automatically suggest me complete. So, okay, okay, I do something wrong. I open it. I don't want to open it. First of all, I type here Python. Python input Python dot py, and see it will I will here from Notepad. Okay, hopefully you understand it. And now I change the color of the CMD that is color to the green. And okay, minimize move here. Edit properties, and I set by default buffer size okay so I set the size font font was I set 24 okay so that is little bit bigger to easily to understand as you see what I type here and print over here I just close it and little bit here okay everything fine so I uh, sometime we have to input from user as per need let's suppose if we make a program to apply some operation for example I make a small calculator that uh, some operation plus minus and other operation so there are some little bit things that first of all we have to need to check it so, uh, let's suppose I have val 1 that is 2 ok and I have val 2 that is 1 and I have print here what will happen print val1 plus val2 and control s it for save and rerun it command as you see it will give me an error string is not a int and the last lecture we see how we can okay I just print well to and what we till uh, what will happen okay sorry oh I just type here Python and you see can only correct string is not a uh, int it will say the first like the first character is string uh, at second is int both are not concatenate each other so for this we have to convert it into string so I type here str that is type cast and pass here the value val2 and control s and execute it again as you see 2 and 1 ok so it will automatically differentiate ok so if I use plus operator what will happen it will concatenate both of these as you see here is 21 
but I want to operate that is 2 and 1 ok so for this I have to type cast it that is interval interval hopefully this will accept this ok and that is int and pass here well one that convert it and I don't use this hopefully it will be fine interval I use it and here is plus operator well two and I control s and execute it again for this is very gay, dirty because it is complete so I type here cls to clean this ok so here is python and here it will reply me 3 ok hopefully you will be a little bit basically understand the syntax how this will happen happening ok so for the input here is uh, here is a number of here is some value let's suppose first of all I input string that is name is equal to input and here enter your first name ok so it will give this like this and here and I just copy it and paste over down that is f name and capital use camel case in your uh, while naming the variables and s name s name or l name that is your as per your need i use s name second name okay so i change it second name oh there is okay so this is fine i control s and also here i print the value print f f name plus f name and s name that is used okay so i control s here and rerun it enter your first name i enter my name abab that is sabi as you see this is print abab sabi okay so this is the way that we use input let's suppose if i want to enter enter your first name i want to enter 6 plus 5 so it will reply me 65 that is not good it will reply me 6 plus 5 11 so for this what we do i just simply change it num 1 and enter your number enter your value 1 and the here is num2 enter your value 2 ok so I just control s it and change the name of the variable because this will give me error if I do not change because these are not predefined and not assign the value of it so I control s and execute it again and here is 6 plus 5 again and it will also give me 65 ok so I use this plus operator to concatenate this I control s again and for this cls and execute it again 6 and 5 it will replace 6 and 4 it will answer me 64 but I want answer 10 so for this what I do because in python the input accept a string value only on by default it value was the string uh, string for this we have to need to change it as per our need according to our need for this I give you a little bit example uh, ok I change this into a commit and uh, remove it ok let's suppose I have a val1 that is 1 and I have val2 
that is 1.5 so here is a floating number and here is a integer so floating number accept an integer but uh, integer can't accept a floating number this decimal value can't be accept in uh, integer type so integer type just only on 1 2 3 not a decimal or dotted value okay so if what if i type here a print and type cast it int and here val2 okay and control s it and i will re-execute it as you see it will reply me it will round it and remove 1.5 and convert it into 2.1 uh, for this we know to take input value that the uh, that this that is given we will convert it into our need as per by default it will accept a string we string convert it as per our need okay so for this i just uncommit it okay so i click here and type here int and i tap and type cast here and the same thing i also do again hopefully this is working okay so i type here int that is the parenthesis and i cut here over paste here okay so i here print okay so here i print num1 plus num2 and i control s it and re-execute it enter the value i provide 5 and that is 5 so it will answer me 10 so what if i provide a string that is my name again above so it will give me error the input value is accepted as string but it can't be converted it into a integer value because a string is a unicode basis so that is the value that we assign a number that is one two three that is not a uh, that the, the string that is one two three is not be converted into integer value for that it will give me a error so as it i change it into float that is float so hopefully this is working but most of the time i use a, a double not float but in python use a float according to me a double is very good as compared to float because my basic background is from java for that i use double not a float so i 2.5 uh, 5.5 enter the value 6.5 so what will be the answer 12.0 so this is the answer okay hopefully you understand how to take input from user so our next lecture will be uh, will be on uh, a editor that i used and i suggest to you so that uh, my first lecture and add that editor we make our uh, first calculator and apply some different operation so thanks for watching and stay with me the person who knew and learn python from basics from zero to hero in python and uh, this uh, this course gonna and at advanced level machine learning and anything and i also teach you how to how to write a script in python and integrate with flutter and add the flutter application we just run it our python code directly via a server okay so stay with me and the person who did not subscribe my channel can you subscribe my channel for this uh, this kind of interesting and latest updated different series are like a flutter and python and dart language and the uh, uh, one thing i was learning more uh, more about a uh, google develop a new uh, language uh, that is just a second
that is a go language so i will try to make a little bit tutorial on go language and the one new language for data scientists is for julia so i will also try to discuss it according to uh, julia so stay with me thanks for watching and please subscribe and comment it